All right, boys, we're back home, ready to uh, get back on the grind on 2K18, my team. I know I've been uploading some videos that are out of the normal. However, I do want to address the last video I uploaded. A lot of you little girls out there started crying and complaining because in this gameplay, I was running a five out. Hey, what have I said a billion times on the channel? Either you adjust or you don't and you get crushed. This dude, literally, if you guys want to give him some props, he was just crying the whole time. I, I I don't understand it. Before the game even started, this dude was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna play on ball because you didn't say hi to me." I was like, what "Kind of little girl, whack shit is that?" Like I was like, "This dude was on some other shit." And before I even acknowledge all the crap he was talking throughout the whole game, whining and crying like a little girl, um, I didn't even have a headset. I recorded that gameplay with simply my Elgato recording, and I didn't even know the dude was talking until I went back and edited the gameplay. So yeah. And it's kind of lame that a grown ass man is asking for someone to say hi back to him. And like literally he said, this. these are his exact words right here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to play off ball because you didn't say hi to me. Like literally he went down that route. So how, how could you take someone like that serious? This dude was off the gate, off rip, going to be a little girl about it. So that's just my thoughts on it. I do not care. The video still did great. I still think it's a good video. The amount of dislikes on it, I could care less about it because that means I'm doing my job. I'm providing some entertainment for you guys. I'm just trying to show you guys that you can do all different types of styles. I do games where I just straight up hit the post. You've seen it. So it's funny how you can come back on another video and just because I do a five out, you guys complain so much. It's kind of mind blowing to me. And I already know, yes, it's kind of hypocritical. Everyone complains about the five out. So do I. But that's just 2K, dude. We do the things that we have to do to win. That's what being competitive is all about. I'm done with that subject. Before we get onto this Willis Reed gameplay, which I'm really like, I'm almost positive he's gonna be trash. I wanted to go over this March Madness bracket that 2K put out. So here's the bracket. Um, and 2K did this last year as well. We basically get to vote on Twitter who moves on to the next round, and they do all the matchups. Um, so straight up, man, from the left side right here, you got Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, and John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins. Those are the top four. Honestly, I think it's either gonna be DeMarcus Cousins. We're not going to get a better version of him this year. He's obviously out. And Russell Westbrook. We might see a pink diamond for those two. And from the right side, it's already like it's already won. There's nobody that's going to compete with Lonzo Ball. He's the most hype beast uh, player right now in the league. Everyone's going to be on the bandwagon. So I think it's going to be Lonzo Ball versus Russell Westbrook. If I really had to put my finger on it, I would say Russell Westbrook will end up winning it. I just think, you know, Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook, who doesn't want to see that? A lot of people are going to want to see the Pink Diamond Lonzo Ball. I just think there's going to be those few players, like me, for example, that we know that Lonzo Ball does not deserve a Pink Diamond card. Um, and I'm going to vote for Russell Westbrook all the way through. So that's just my take on it. Let me know in the comment section, though. Who would you guys vote for? Who are you voting for? And if you got any reasons on why you think there might be an upset in one of these brackets, let me know as well. But yeah, I kind of wanted to go over this because I was in Vegas and I, I actually, when it came out, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, they did it last year. They're bringing it back in this March Madness. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think Lonzo Ball is going to be in the finals versus Russell Westbrook. Let me know in the comment section who do you think is going to win and who do you want to win. So, okay, boys, let's get straight on to the video. And what we want to do is review this Willis Reed card. 94 overall Amethyst. He's uh, definitely undersized. 6'9". 99 defensive, 99 offensive. He does come with some great Hall of Fame badges. However, um, I threw a shoe on him. Open shot mid-range, 99. The contested shot mid-range, 99. He does have some really good draw fouls. Post fadeaway is there. Um, open shot three, yeah, non-existent. Like, literally non-existent. The rebounding is really solid. Some great la lateral quickness for a center. The defensive ratings are there. Um, the steal rating, not so much. Um, but, yeah, like, just look at, look at the help pick and roll defense and all of that it's all solid driving duck 96 um so yeah with a, with a speed shoe on this card uh you should be set honestly though i think the, the card is going to be trash just because he's so small and dude this just he can't spread the floor which is a big 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 downfall if this card had like an 83 ball i would say yeah he's a great power forward so yeah taking a look at the hall of fame badges brick wall up and under specialist postman technician relentless finisher pick and roller put back king lob city finisher Pick and popper and 15 gold badges. If you didn't get this card, um, I'm not sure if you're missing out, honestly. So let's get to the gameplay, and I guess I'll tell you right after. As we are looking for a match right here, boys, I did want to say that the Vegas vlog will be coming to the channel hopefully soon. Um, I was going to do multiple parts. It was going to be kind of a longer video, but 
Dude, I really got exhausted towards the last like two days and I completely stopped vlogging like I couldn't anymore. Like the time zone changed, definitely killed me, the jet lag. Then we also lost an hour because of the daylight savings and I was just trying to enjoy myself. Um, it was a lot of walking involved. I had a great time. We took a lot of pictures. So I guess I'll end that video with a lot of pictures and just some vlogging so you guys can see the city and you know, just us having fun. But it's not gonna be a full on complete video like how I wanted it to be. Found an opponent here, but yeah, just giving you guys a heads up on that. Let's take a look at the matchup right here. My opponent rocking out with, yeah, a pretty solid team. LeBron James, the good one. 97 overall T Mac. Why is it 97? I have a 98. I, I, okay. 96 James Harden. Uh, the Jokic, Hassan Whiteside. Let's take a look at his bench. Um, but yeah, this this guy has a good team. He has Michael Finley, Demarcus Cousins, Porzingis, Bradley Beal, Antetokounmpo. Dion Waiters and Shumper. Yeah, this guy has a pretty nasty lineup, and we're gonna try to do work with this read. So, uh, hopefully, it works out for the best. Shine. I'm gonna call for a pick and roll here to start off the game. He's gonna get to the basket. Alley you coming? That's a good one. Oh, yeah, he finishes. Okay. I'm liking it so far. Good defense. Oh, Vince Carter all the way. Vince Carter. Vince Carter all the way. Okay, okay, okay. I like how Reed is hustling for rebounds, and right there, he does that pass. Okay. You're blocked, buddy. I'm playing some tremendous defense, and we're going to get a wide-open look with T-Mac right there, baby. And we get dunked on again on the same play. Here we go. Come on, Reed. Set a solid screen, bro. You're supposed to set solid screens. All the way to the rim. All the way to the rim. There you go. There you go. What? Okay, if he can't make those shots, this card is worthless. Wow, dude, they're giving this guy everything. All right. Oh, my God, T-Mac. Oh, my God, T-Mac. All I did was a little in and out dribble. He was done. Look at Reed in the paint. All right, he makes it around the contact, so I can't really complain about that one. Reed all the way. Oh! Whoa. What? Reed with a 360? I don't know. Bad shot. That's a bad shot. Fully contested. That's no. There's no way that drops. No way it's okay. Sorry. There's no way. All the way read again. He's not defending me. Yo, this guy has some crazy dunk animations. Crazy dunk animations. Alright, we're handling Will Reed. Here we go. Oh my god, all the way. Yo! Reed! 10 points in the first quarter. That's the end one. The free throw is smooth as hell. Oh my god. Reed. Oh wow. Okay, I can just go to him every play. I'm pretty sure he's gonna draw contact or make, make something happen. We're up one actually. Reed, look at the defense, dude. Let it fly, T Mac. Let it fly. Alright. I'm really impressed with uh, Reed in the first quarter. Like, he's just playing solid defense. Crazy dunk animations. And he's not getting beat off the dribble. I I'm liking this card. Oh, my God. Reed. Look at Reed. Look at Reed. Look at this. Wide open team, man. Can we get the assist? Yeah, of course. T Mac all the way. I could have given it to Reed, but we get the monster dunk with T Mac. Aliyu to Reed, he catches it, baby. Let's go. 15 points in the first half. We still got three minutes left. Wow, we get the steal with Reed, and let's turn on the Jets. Pass it to T Mac. That's an assist. Good D. All right, let's go. Let's D up on the big. This is going to be a real test right here. And yeah, he gets scored on. All right. Oh my god, T Mac. Dude, T Mac is nasty, man. Oh my god, we, we just stopped the dunk animation with Reed on T-Mac. And more solid defense with a rebound for the boy. Wide open T-Mac, wide open T-Mac. Let's get this money, man. Let's get this money, man. I'm here. Where is Reed? Good defense and a rebound. Let's go, man. Reed, look at Reed with the wide open Rashad Lewis finds. Here we go. 
Here we go. That's an assist, dude. We might just get a triple double with him. All right, boys. Low key though. Look at T Mac. 17 points, four rebounds, and five assists as well. Yeah. Stepping up big time. All the way though. Right here. Look at Reed. Look at Reed, dude. The pick and roll action with Willis Reed. It's kind of unstoppable. He's going to the corner. We know that. We know that. Come on now. We know that. Come on, Kobe. Kobe sagging off, man. Reed all the way, dude. He, he is not defending this pick and roll at all. Let's go. Reed again in the paint. He's just playing, I don't know, some weird defense. I'm going to score every time. All right, Reed. Let's get to the basket, boy. Let's get to the... Oh, my God, T-Mac. I'm telling you, man. Either the screen is effective or he's going to roll to the basket. No threes, no threes, no threes. Thank you. Good rebound. Let's go into the post. Here we go. Oh my god, that's a mismatch. He's a baby in here. He's a baby in here. Draw the foul. He's a baby. All right, we got five fouls on T-Mac. I've been reaching a lot, trying to go for steals, trying to definitely get more possessions, but it's going to work out in his favor. However, we got Pink Diamond James Harden coming off the bench, so we're straight. Let's try not to foul here. I'm not going to reach. Stay in front of him. I want to get T-Mac in the game. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Come on, baby. Come on. What you doing, man? You're a joke. We looking for him. We're gonna do the pick and roll with a Ray Allen. See how this works out. Oh my God, the corner though, and the paint right here. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. That's that's just crazy. This card is too good. That's contested all day, every day. He still makes it. We're gonna call a timeout because he's making some really contested shots. I think the equalizer might be kicking in. Uh, so yeah, let's let's rehuddle here. Oh my god, he's just not gonna play defense on T Mac. Alright, I guess he knows I'm trying to get gameplay with uh with Reed, so he's not really defending my guy on the drive, but that's that's just stupid. Look at him going in and out trying to get the blow by. This guy is so bad at me. Oh god, you're bad. No, no, I'm gonna clamp you up with Ray Allen. No, no. Come on, get the rebound, Reed. Look at him, look at him. That's so sad. That's not even basketball. I don't even care about that. Back out, Chris Weber. Let's go into the post. Spin move right here. Let me spin. Wide open T Mac. We're going all the way. Finding Reed, and yeah, we're gonna go up with it. Come on, baby. I'm so happy I just drew that charge. That's my first attempt all game, and I get it because this dude is so reckless. I had to get him. Yeah, he's trying to get me back. That's not going to happen. And he's not defending the drive. I keep telling you. Ha! <laughs> trying to get an alley-oop going on this play right here. Go outside and right here. We find three. Yeah. Little little catch. Bit easy. All right, boys. Start of the fourth quarter. We have a six-point lead. Definitely going to try to do some more work with Reed. But so far, yeah, he's been really solid. All right, Reed with the ball. Let's make something happen. Look at the speed on Y side. Pulls up mid-range. Can't get it. Back to him. Show me the wide open pass right here to Ray Allen. That's got to be money. That's got to be money. We get the assistant. Wow, why did he fall? Get Reed on the pick and roll. And as he rolls to the basket, just give it to him. He's going to make it, baby. Where's Reed? Reed is in the corner. I'm going to call for the ISO. See how he defends me with Hassan Whiteside. I don't think he's going to be able to keep up. Yeah, that's a foul. I'm actually going to go back to that same play and run an ISO with... Uh, yeah, I'm going to run the ISO with uh, Reed right here on white side. We're finding Vince Carter wide open. Can we get the assist? We sure as hell do. We need to find uh, Reed right here. Here we go. Call for the ISO. Blow by animation coming through. He reaches. More free throws. All right, boys. So he's intentionally fouling now. He actually thinks he has a chance. So let's just pat on the stats. More points for the boy. Might actually get him to 40. So that would be nice. All right, boys. 82 to 72. The final score. Shout out to my opponent. He wasn't the best play, but he was not the worst. And it was a good game all around. Willis Reed definitely stood out. Let's check out the box score because he definitely put in some work. Yeah, we get a thousand MT on that. I'll take it. Checking out the box score real quick. I wanted to show T Mac because he had a great game, although he fouled out. He had 23 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals. Yeah, not bad. So, Willis Reed, 4 turnovers. That's the only negative, but that was just me. 9 for 9 from the free throw line. That's monstrous. He had 3 blocks, 2 steals, 6 assists, 10 rebounds, and 37 points. Let me tell you guys, I thought coming into this gameplay, I was going to be making a, a, a thumbnail with a trash can attached to it. It's the complete opposite, dude. This guy has impressed me. 
Obviously not the best reward we could have gotten, but he's definitely not a letdown. All right, guys, so taking a look at the team comparison. Yeah, we only attempted nine three-pointers. Not bad. A little bit of a different gameplay here. You know, not, not a lot of threes, which is a good thing. Uh, points in the paint, yeah, 54 to 34. He got killed. Uh, bench points, not that many bench points for me. It's all good. 21 assists. We definitely killed the defensive uh, glass. 19 rebounds, 9 steals with 6 blocks. Um, so, yeah, just all around. Really, really good effort uh, for the squad. 14 for 14 from the free throw line. But this Willis Reed, man, he impressed me, dude. I mean, if you picked up this card, not a bad center to have if you definitely want to be throwing down some dunks. Uh, and solid pick and roll defense. He's not going to get beat off the dribble, which is really good on a center. The only thing is, obviously, his height. That's the only negative, and that's something you cannot teach. That 6'9", man, that's like, we have power forwards that are bigger than that. So, yeah, that's kind of rough. Um, but, you know, that's just who the guy is. 6'9", Willis Reed, good all-around card. Uh, so, if you picked it up, I would say just be happy with it, man. It's not a, not the greatest. It's not a diamond card, obviously. Bill Russell is going to be another undersized center. Um, but this guy, you saw it, 360 dunk to start off the game. That was pretty monstrous. So, yeah, guys, I'm ready to bring you guys more content. I'm probably going to be live streaming tonight, uh, giving you guys uh, a chance to play me. I know some of you guys have been asking, so I'll probably stream tonight as well. This is the upload. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. It's your boy, Decentric. I'm checking out.